Hey guys, this is John Spear with First Day Electrical. Today I'm going to be showing you guys your first year apprentice, um, first timer to the trade tool set that you should kind of bring on the first day. If not, you know, gather over time. But um, one of the big things I wanted to say was that you should always invest in the quality product because this is what's going to be food on your table this is what's going to be the most helpful for you in the long run they're going to last the longest so everything i'm going to show you is quality tools quality product i'm not sponsored by anybody this is just um, a tradesman showing you guys his tools for a first year apprentice um, first thing I would like to kind of go over, just starting from here, is your voltage tester. I used the Klein Tools method. It had, or the Klein Tools tool. It is a voltage tester and a laser pointer. It has dual range, so that means it can detect low voltage and higher voltage. Um, this one has a laser pointer, but most of them have flashlights other things like that um, I personally use the Klein tools but I have used the fluke in the past um, very good product um, I trust it you use it on a day-to-day -day basis um, testing circuits things of that nature um, before you put your hand in a live box you know you always want to double check that you know don't trust any what anybody says always test it before you work on it um, next thing is going to be a razor blade universal tool that you're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis um, has you know this one just a foldable one I keep it in my bag also very good I've had it for I don't even know forever my entire career um, these are called channel locks should have two of them these particular ones are the channel lock brand um, 440s um, it's pretty universal can do up to I uh, think about like inch and a quarter um, for first year apprentice though this is the size that you'll be needing is the channel lock 440 once again use those my entire career and you know I've not had any issues level get yourself a good level one that has the 30 the 90 the 45 and just the standard uh, zero um, you know get ones with magnets because you know you're gonna be hooking it up to a lot of magnetic stuff so that does come in handy next on the list are your pair of strippers um, you know get you a pretty easy range from you know 18 to 10 that's typically what a first year apprentice is going to be doing anyway you know if that's anything bigger you can always use your razor blade or um, Klein makes a, a cable splitter um, and then here's the here is the electrician's tool of tool it is the Klein tools um, linesman this one's the journeyman's edition very very good product um, please invest in your career invest in good tools um, Klein is personally the only one I've ever used and will continue to use because of how good a product it really is I've seen the process firsthand how they make them um, it's extraordinary I employ anyone to go visit the Klein tools factory in Texas it's amazing um, these are diagonal side cutters or dikes is the other trade name for them once again another journeyman's edition um, used to cut cables wires um, baling wire um, really good tool pair of needle nose um, you know these come in handy on a day-to-day -day basis as well um, the one thing I would suggest with the needle nose is, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little hole for a number 10. 
or a number 12 wire um, don't get that it is stupid um, horrible design I hate it you know I don't use these to cut anything because of that um, get your the ones with the, the straight blade all the way across because I mean completely pointless uh, it's gonna be your tape measure you know get you one like a big fat one because you will drop it from time to time so make sure you get one that can take a beating this one has a magnet on it, it comes very handy when you're trying to stretch it out now let's get into the screwdrivers we'll go with your standard Phillips screwdriver number two you'll need that bad boy um, I'd like to get just to make a suggestion to do a long shank um, seven inches I think is what it is seven or eight inches Klein tool um, straight blade it's good to be used as a beater you know and then when once you're messing with technical stuff it has a long shaft it works out great I like to use it um, more than my standard one um, get you a little trim screwdriver this one in particular comes in handy later on in life when you're dealing with controls and stuff because it's so little but it does work it's the TB DIN but it also works really well as a trim screwdriver um, this little guy is great it is basically a thing that like once you put a screw on top of it it'll tighten itself up so you don't have to hold the screw in place um, the flathead screw in place really handy good tool the number one square tip um, probably the most underrated tool that you'll ever get this one's by Wera um, it's thousand volt rated great fantastic tool you can use this to tighten down um, boxes um, just boxes ground screws device screws basically everything that you can think of this little guy handles it but it's a, not very known very well but it is a great great tool um then get yourself like you know a standard set of you know hex nut you know these guys come in handy you're gonna you don't use them as much as you think you do but you know i think they make an all-in-one now which is great you know for the younger generation number two square comes in great when you're working on panels you know square D kind of uni unified the number two square for all their panel covers and breakers and things of that nature so that's really good and then I'm going to show you guys the ultimate electrician's tool bag it is called the boulder bag it is awesome i've had this my entire career my journeyman suggested it to me and has all the pockets that you would ever need it works great it doesn't hurt your back it is a one of the most solid things i have ever purchased um had in my entire career 15 years in the trade never had to replace it um, so comfortable even to this day it's been beat up thrown around tossed around uh, you know you won't use it too much but when you do the hammer thing comes in handy has really big pouches in the back um, I usually just stick my wire nuts and things of that nature in there really solid electrician's tool bag um, other things that you could be used might be a little bit out of the first year's apprentice but a drill they you know I would trust Dewalt Hilti in Milwaukee don't get anything less to get mil or to get Dewalt get the XR brand it's a construction brand you're gonna use it on a day-to-day -day basis you know 
trust your tools and you'll have a good career impact get the one with speeds on it one two and three for all your different uses that you can have on it um, I use the Dewalt 20 brushless it is solid great tool um, had it for years have no complaints on it does the job kicks ass and then last but not least on the first year apprentice guide list get yourself a sawzall or this one's a hacksaw um, it's great one hand use you know you can hold the thing it, it it's a solid product I, I really enjoy this one I had the long Dewalt the one where you have to use two hands to hold everything um, that one never got into the nitty gritty corners you know it just this one can go everywhere and anywhere it is Milwaukee did a great job on this one it is fantastic well that's it for my first year apprentice tools um, if you have any questions concerns um, let me know I'd be happy to have answer any questions at all um, absolutely love all the products I showed you I've used them for years um, definitely wouldn't lie to you about the quality of product that you're going to be getting when you purchase these items um, well thank you so much for watching please please press like comment happy to hear any and all um, suggestions Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. This is John Spear with First Day Electrical. Have a great day. Bye.